everyone, I'm Sam from the Aragon Growth Guild and today we'll be building a DAO on base. You'll start from app.aragon.org and connect to your wallet. If you don't have the base mainnet added to your wallet yet, you can do that here at docs.base.org slash network information. We'll include that link below. And you'll just add this information here into your wallet provider so that you have base mainnet on MetaMask or whatever platform that you use. If you don't have any tokens on the base mainnet yet, you can do that through the bridge. So just go to bridge.base.org and then you can bridge Ethereum from mainnet Ethereum to base right here. We'll also have that link included below. Okay, now that you have all your stuff ready to go, you can just click create a DAO. Then click build your DAO. And you'll see that base is already selected because my wallet is already connected to the base mainnet. So click next here and then add your DAO's name, logo, and description. Once you've added those, you can add any links such as to your Lens, Discord, Twitter, anything like that. Click Next, and now you choose who can participate in governance. So that can be token holders or multi-sig members. I'm gonna go with token holders, and no, my community does not already have a token, so I need to mint one. You'll add the name of the token and the token symbol here and then just distribute tokens to wallets. The wallet that is creating the DAO was automatically added, but I can add wallets or I can remove this one. So I can add a wallet and give it more tokens or I can remove that address here. Now you decide who is eligible to create proposals in your DAO, and that can be token holders who hold a minimum number of tokens that you set here or it can be any wallet, which means that any wallet on the base mainnet can create a proposal. I'm gonna go with token holders and say that they just need one token to create a proposal. Click next. Okay, now you choose your governance settings. First, that'll be support threshold, which is automatically set at 50%. I'm going to keep that. That's just the percentage of tokens that need to vote yes in a proposal for it to pass. Then you have minimum participation. That's the percentage of tokens that need to cast a vote. It can be yes or no in order for the vote to be valid. So I have that at 15%. So 0.6 tokens of the four that I minted need to participate in the vote. Minimum duration is just the shortest period of time a proposal can be open for voting. I have that at one day. You can always set this duration longer when you create a proposal, but you can't go below this duration. So I'll keep it at one day. Early execution means that a proposal can be executed before the voting period ends if these two thresholds are met. Um, so I'm gonna keep that at yes. If I put this as no, that means I can allow voters to change their vote during the vote period if I want. So I'm just gonna keep early execution and then no vote change. Click next. Okay, now all you have to do is make sure these values are correct. The only thing you cannot change later is the network you deploy on, so base mainnet, and the token you mint. So I have this um, governance espresso token that I created. So you cannot change that later, but you can mint more tokens and distribute them to more addresses if you want. So, okay, these values are correct. And then I'm gonna deploy my DAO. You just have to pay a gas fee, should be less than $10, often around $3 or $5. So just approve that transaction here. The transaction has settled and now I can launch my DAO dashboard. Okay, my DAO is ready, open your DAO. So I can see that all of the DAO details that I created are up here, my image, my description. This right here is my link to my DAO that I can share with members so they can find this homepage. You can see when it was created, the network, and how our governance is done, so token-based. And you can explore all the different tabs up here, governance tab to create your first proposal, finance tab to deposit funds, and then you can add community members by minting more tokens here. And that's how you create a DAO on base.